guys. So inspired by kind of a failed art snacks, um, we're going to give edigami a shot. And I've got some edigami uh, postcards right here. I ordered these off of Jet Pins a couple years ago. Um, I also have my subject, so I'm going to be painting these three little bottles. I've got some Sumi brushes. I've got my sketch. I've got a black brush pin for when I'm finished. And I've got some paints that are traditionally used for this. Some Gansai paints. These are uh, Kuratake's and they were sent to me as a Christmas present from my friend Heidi. So I'm going to go ahead and get started attempting this. With edigami, you can't be as heavy handed as you would with other types of watercolor. So I'm going to have to use some discretion. And I think I'm going to do this in time lapse and check in with you guys when it's fully finished. So I'll see you guys for the sign off. guys so that was my first real attempt at painting an etagami uh, postcard using more traditional methods i think it turned out a whole lot better than my first attempt with this paper where i tried to handle it i wasn't trying to handle it exactly the way i would handle normal watercolor papers but i didn't really understand just how different these papers are so when I painted this, I went in looking at examples of other edigami postcards and I tried to keep what I wanted to do really simple and I tried to modify my methods to better suit it. And I think this turned out a lot better than um, my prior attempts. And since I still have quite a few postcards left, I think I'll probably make a few more of these just to sort of um, familiarize myself with the technique. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this inspires you to go out and make some art that you can trade or send to somebody. Just something to sort of brighten their day and maybe increase an, an appreciation for original pieces of art in somebody that you love. I can think of very few gifts nicer than, you know, a handmade piece of art. Even if it's just something little like this, it shows that you took time and that you care. And it doesn't have to be a work of art. It can be something that's very simple. 
um, and it will still, if sent to the right person, have a great impact on their day. So I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I can't really call it a tutorial because it was more of a time lapse, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on edigami and edigami paper and um, Gansai watercolors. I hope I inspired you and I hope I left you a little bit richer for today. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit like, the thumbs up, let YouTube know that you enjoy content like this, that you would like to see more content like this. Um, if you have any questions, would like to know my materials, or just want to talk about postcards, leave me a comment below and we can chat. Um, if you really enjoyed this video and you think it might inspire someone else you, you know or you care about, would you do me a huge favor and uh, use those social network sharing buttons down below to share this video with your friends and family? Um, if you are interested in more correspondence art, we have an interview with an artist who did that. We interviewed her at ALA in 2015, and you can check out that video by clicking right here in the annotations. Um, and if you would like to support more content like this, head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com for information on how to join the Natto Soup community. I'm Becca Hilburn. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. As always, it's a pleasure. Bye.